Actually, I've always wanted to be an artist ever since I was a kid. Um, when I was young, my family actually lived along EDSA. And during that time, the billboards of the cinemas then were hand-painted. So every time we would cross EDSA, I would look outside the car and think, I would like to paint something like that. I'm Rebi Ramoso. I'm a visual artist. Um, I usually use uh, digital art as my medium. I do hyper-realistic digital paintings and lately I've also been exploring making abstract work by doing photography as well as digital mixed media. I started uh, painting seriously uh, back in 2004 uh, when I went to the UP Fine Arts as a cross enrollee then. So my focus was in uh, studio arts uh, painting. And then I slowly shifted into digital art back in, I think, 2010 to 2011. But of course, back then, Art was not really considered as a lucrative uh, type of work. And so uh, I ventured into another field, which was psychology. I think that was very useful eh, in my art making. I focus on the psycho-emotional realm of human experience. The incorporation of psychology is not only in the production of the art, but in my research methodology such that um, even in the actual process of conceptualizing the art I start with interviewing people getting to know their stories in fact like um, this one um, how I forget you so one woman approached me and then she said you know what this is actually what I went through when I had my divorce so on that actual encounter, I had to work through that as well. I had to recognize what her experience was and to validate that, diba? And to see the connection that she had with the artwork. I've had several um, encounters with people who view my art and would tell me that, oh, I experienced this kind of grief. I mean, we are all connected in some way, but we have our own unique experiences of dealing with them and that's what I want to capture in my artworks and that's what I want to capture in the stories of the people so as a woman artist it is my advocacy to be able to show how we really are diba? minus the stereotypical images so that's why I want to convey mga stories nila. I have very conflicting views about AI. Because I know, I know that AI can be beneficial. I think the issue that I have with AI is ethics. I'm pretty sure it's going to be more advanced, but I would like to see myself being able to employ that as a tool, but not to use that and say that that's my sole creation. I have been able to exhibit in New York. I frequent Italy mostly, in Rome, Florence, uh, Venice. I've been able to exhibit in Belgium and in Spain, and of course the Philippines. Being able to exhibit internationally is actually both an honor as well as a responsibility on my part. An honor because uh, of course, um, it is a blessing to be able to have the avenue or the platform to communicate or to share my work to a wider audience. And I think this is something that a lot of us Filipino artists aspire to, ex you know, to have, right? to experience. Our responsibility, because I know that to be able to exhibit internationally means that I would have to communicate what our experiences are as Filipinos. I mean, my inspiration, people's stories, talaga. I'm excited talking to people. Eh. 
I mean, not yung parang ano ah, hindi yung parang hi, how are you, hindi yung mga under the weather na mga conversations, but intimate conversations with people spark my interest. That's when I start to integrate, yung parang when I start integrating stories of different women and thinking, oh, this could be a brilliant concept for an artwork. There's actually no boundary in terms of culture or nationality because these are the things that we all go through. So, in fact, this type of art or my art probably has a more universal appeal or meaning that it is uh, something that others can find connection with.